welcome to another interesting episode of Rinse Chef in Rinse Kitchen, a Rinse production. Now, I am so excited today, and you know why? We have a guest chef in the house. He's here to show us how to prepare pizza. I hope you will enjoy it as much as I will. Let him introduce himself. Okay, thank you so much, Linda. My name is Dolin Sandewanzala. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cook pizza for big pizza. Uh, we're gonna do margarita, extra chicken, margarita, extra beef. Thank you. Okay, Karibuni, let's dig in. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put water first, warm water, then milk. Why? Koni? Viscosity. Oh! Hey! When you mulipanya science. Viscosity. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so this is flat, peke mm -hmm. Okay. So the milk has to boil first. Yeah, it has to boil. Okay. Can put the water. Okay. This is about 250 ml of water. Okay. So next is the yeast. And it's warm water, not hot. It's okay. Okay, so that's yeast. We've put about three quarters this spoon. And then I add salt. We have boiling milk. So we'll add it to the water and yeast. This milk is about three quarters the packet. So I'll mix them. I'll stir it. And then sugar, scary, nikidogo kushinda chumvi, slightly less than the salt. So now we're going to prepare the dough. Uh, it's just flour in this mixture that we had. The flour is about 400 grams because we are going to prepare two pizzas. Mm. Apparently, pizza should be about 200 grams. And it should be soft and light so that you can be able to make it with you by use of your hands because we are doing it locally in the house we don't have machine to help us widen it notice how he's doing it as if he's making pancakes notice how light the dough is remember it shouldn't be too hard it should be light soft and easy to need and come on do as improvise nylon and paper just like the way make a castle with a nylon but you can do the clear foil come with clear foil and put the castle oh so the point of covering it is to Oh, do you know? Yeast. Okay. Time to activate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Wow, that's nice. So we just leave it here or keep it in the fridge? Uh -huh. Why not? So now next we're going to prepare Pomodoro sauce. The ingredients? On the pomodoro sauce. Uh, have the onions. You can either use the red onions or the white onions. For the red onions we are using it because this is what we have right now. Then have the garlics. You can, cut, you can chop them in any of the style. Even the tomatoes. Have some turmeric. Then nutmeg. Yeah. Oregano. And finally, black pepper. Three peppers. So I'm going to make some sauce for this for the both pieces into the oil. 
that's about 30 ml all the onion so you add salt Notice we are putting two grams of each. Mm. Yeah. Just when the tomatoes kubondeka, that's when you add the pepper. And then the black pepper is number last. Sometimes when you put pepper ahead, ikiban, it makes you cough. <laughs> So it's good to learn quick paper towards the end. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The, uh, we're going to blend the, the mix to come up with a sauce, the pomodoro sauce. Remember what Chef said? We have to blend it for nice consistency when you're applying it on the dough. Put it in the blender. There is our sauce. Now we're going to prepare the toppings, uh, the chicken and the what? The yeah. beef. Uh, you can either boil, so you first boil the chicken or you boil the beef. Then after boiling them, you add some little oil, then you can add your spice. For us, you have chicken with some spice, but definitely that one is for chicken. chicken. And then beef masala, then this for the, for the beef. Yes. Just Add some oil. I already put some salt in the meat and the chicken. Then you add the, the spices and some oil, and you're done with the toppings. Just the beef, oil, and your spices, and should be golden golden brown when you're done. And the chicken. So we are adding the beef masala to the beef and then and the, the chicken, masala. chicken masala on the chicken. Mm. Mm. That is just to spice it as chef advised. Definitely, who we chef I'm in a many taste cuckoo. Mm. Mm. That's the masala. So that's the difference in the meat, in the beef and the chicken. So now next is the dough. So oh, it's, it's the pizza dough itself. About 200 grams. See that you can use your hands, but you know, local at home, you are in Kajuk to me, Mikon. Must be changed to Fungana Mikon. But here, to me, a rolling pin. Also, even to Fungana Mikon. Yes, up from Fungana Mikon, maybe. The Pelepe was Anna. At least, nothing in the Zan. Crust. Just the base and some dust, flat dust, and all this chicken. Then we turn the dough, the shape, the fancy shape. You just let them make around and make sure we have more. Mm -hmm. The sauce, the modular sauce. You remember the sauce to the blender? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Ah, so it's not supposed to be at a fine, 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 mm -hmm. Kabisa. It's not supposed to be fine. At least, 
mtu asikiele content ya vitu vile zimetengenezwa na eg hizo papers mm-hmm. tomatoes yeah cuz uki blend kabisa mm-hmm. you getting a totally different yeah. taste mm-hmm. can add even tomato tomato sauce ah Later. okay mm-hmm. you're not putting paka huko kwa crust crust you're forming crust so you mona ni me form at least uko kuna kuna kushinda hapa katikati hey, katika yeah. so i'm following you very very oh, yake okay. takiende kabisa pesi mm-hmm. mwage sauce iki fura isishike huko chini ah oh, okay yeah. so i'm going to do it very okay go the cheese now when it comes to grating the cheese usifanye kwa ugali so we do it once I thought cheese in a juu ya yeah, toppings. Yeah. It have kuna kaizo toppings. Uh, mm. But pia it's an option if you want too much cheese. Yes. Unaweza kutamka unasema some extra cheese. So mm-hmm. the post extra cheese. Oh, so extra cheese unaeka chini, unaeka the topping then mm-hmm. unaweka cheese mm-hmm. tena. Mm-hmm. So hiyo ya Julio extra cheese. extra cheese. Ah, now you get. Okay. Then Definitely a pizza takes about 7 minutes 10 minutes and that is depends the oven for us we have an oven that has about the maximum temperature is about 225 degrees celsius and for a pizza you can use 120 degrees celsius that's the maximum uh, temperature that you can use for us we have 75 so it will take a longer time Expected to be seven minutes now. Let's do ten minutes. I will put the pizza there. Okay. And make sure the bottom fire. Tonga the mochi chini. Hmm. It's going to move, sana. Okay. So do the mochi not going to move. Careful. Then chini, because definitely. Unga itaiva yaze kukao kambali ya toppings. Na toppings tukua rushado karanga. Mm. So toppings na kwazi hiwe chini ndio moto ita nike chini kiva. Mm. Ile time na cook, ile food ni kupale juu well done. Imishika na pamoja na ile the dough. Mm. Ile kuna kwa. Make sure pizza hako ni crunchy but soft. Okay. Now you look at after a pizza. Mm. After 10 minutes. Na kwa mbali ya pizza hako vizuri. You look at the base. To cheese, confirm kama imeiva yeah, mm. mm. cheese it has already melted mm. so meaning the base in chai up here mm. so you turn at the base just turn it golden brown as you can see it's not hard soft heavy may meiva mm. mm. this is ready for the peripheral you have the crust to apply olive oil either olive oil Corn oil, the brush. Ama kama we ni mse wa home ka sisi normal cooking oil. Yeah. Don't be afraid kupaka mafuta. Normal cooking oil is just corn oil. Mm-hmm. Now, this is ready. This is the chicken, the pizza, the margarita pizza, the chicken cheese. At the periphery you can see the pomodoro cheese, pomodoro sauce, sorry. And then we have the cheese itself and have the chicken. And here I have the margarita extra beef. We got the beef, we have the pomodoro sauce and the cheese. Now you can garnish with some coriander on top of it. This is coriander, chopped coriander. I also use chop the peppers yeah the peppers the peppers but you just cut them evenly then some green 
Nice. Hey, we are going to have pizza. See how lovely they are. So, guys, this was Chef Blorin, and he's just shown us how to make basic, basic pizza. So, I'll need to take time out <laughs> so that I can prepare my kind of pizza with the toppings that I love. Then we'll see the difference. But this is how you need to prepare your pizza. Like not, notice the crust. See how good it looks. By the way, you didn't tell us why it's not uh, dark brown on top. Should it be dark brown or? No. Uh, in, uh, initially, I say when you're checking on your pizza, mm -hmm. look at the bottom of your pizza. When it's some golden brown, it's ready. Uh -huh. So on top it doesn't need to be brown. Ah, you see now that is one very important lesson that we learned. I used to make pizza and wait for it to turn brown on top. Kumbe, I was waiting for the wrong thing. So now we, I'll have to make my own so that we can read and find out if we learned whatever we were taught today. So guys, wait until I make my pizza before we can end this video. Thank you so much, Jeff. Okay, now guys, a good student will always try out what they're taught. So, I just wanted to make sure I got the process that Chef Lauren took us through of preparing pizza. And I made these two margaritas, but with a bit of a twist. This one is a margarita, according, okay, according to Chef Lauren, margarita is the pizza dough plus the pomodoro sauce whatever you add on top is extra so this is a margarita with uh, extra vegetables and some sausage and uh, some chicken and beef yeah and cheese and then this one has some vegetables some pineapple some beef no chicken some beef and some bit of sausage and extra cheese you see it has more cheese compared to this because i added extra cheese on top when i was done i hope you try this recipe at home so that you can be excited as i am you know there's nothing as good as you confirm everything the chef said and it's exactly what he taught you hmm Guys, you should definitely try out these pizzas. Oh, this pizza is lovely. Ah, with these pineapples, you should definitely try this at home. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting recipes. And don't be afraid to try these recipes at home. And please tag us so that you can see the impact that we have in your homes. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Till next time. Bye-bye.